Hey! Let her get some hair. Even though my little boss bun up there. A little crazy. Got my fleas going on. Yeah, just uploaded the video. But. Whew. It's cold. I think it's 31 right now. Hmm. But it's not too shabby. That's where the camera's hiding. I see now. There we are. So. Little box box. So I just want to make a short video. Take it back. So, flat bedding. You might be with the trainer. Like me, I was with the trainer. Three weeks. Four weeks. I was with the trainer for four weeks. You know, I learned a lot from him. He was a good guy. But. You will learn stuff from him. But when you're by yourself, solo driver. You're going to come into some situations that you have to think quick on your feet and get it done. Because the faster you get your load tarp and strap, it's just here where you can get down the highway, <coughs> the better you'll be. The faster you do it, the faster you get on the road and make money because your wheels are moving. But if you're like a Beginner like me, I gotta have my my nicotine. <clears throat> so where I'm at now, it's snowing, and this rest area don't have nothing. The bathroom just got confetti all in it. It's a hole in the ground. And you get to sit on a cold porcelain seat. I went in there and took baby wipes. I wiped that seat down before I put my ass on it. And I didn't fully put my butt on it. Because <coughs> they were cold. But at least my truck don't smell like poop. And I learned in the last almost eight months. Backing up a drive van versus a drive, drive, backing up a flatbed is way different. And every flatbed trailer I get is different. I don't know if it's because <clears throat> the age, how old they are, how hard they've been pushed down the highway, or what. Some of them will turn easy. And some of them won't even turn at all. I mean, it'll barely you can turn your wheel all the way and that thing just barely turns. So, <clears throat> I learned that rest stops are easier to park. If you got like I got I'll show you in a minute. You don't need a truck stop. All you need a truck stop for is gas. And like me, I'm not really a people person, so I just try to <clears throat> stick to myself and just stay in my little home here. Because, you know, truck drivers want to have any tiny homes. This is my throne, this is my seat. And everything I need right here. And the favorite part about this job, believe it or not, is there. See all that? See that? Oh, it's wonderful. Going down the highway for seven hours. Just get to look at the beautiful sight. Priceless. Oh, look, my neighbor's leaving. Say bye, neighbor. But now you got know some rest areas. We'll let you sleep there. The smaller ones. No. I ran in a few that you stay there for eight hours. 
which can be a worker once you just leave for 10 hours. So, and this place don't have no sign, it's just tiny. You know, I don't know if it'll fill up tonight or not. But, uh, they'll do the best they can. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. I don't know why this thing's facing me now. There's my hard hats. <clears throat> Let's show you some goodies. Alright, there's my bed. Oh, the floor's wet. See, I got canned goods. These are just full of canned goods. See, there's my coffee. There's some water. Huh. Let's see, I got my soups, my potatoes. Everything a growing boy needs. Oh, got me some baked potato with cheddar and bacon bits. That sounds yummy. And then I got plenty of water. See that thing right there is my tea. And that's my Febreze. I should have bought a couple of these. You see, make their bedroom back here. Don't smell so bad. And then I got this little thing in case I toot toot. Make it smell better. See, all my paperwork. You will get upset tell me if you did truck stop, so you need some of that good stuff. Proxide, because flatbed drivers, you will get cut. You'll need all your goodies. And during the summer, you see right here, you'll need that between your thighs. Cause that's going to be big as me, you know. See, I keep bottles. Yeah. Oh, and break it down there and my body. See, there's my pee bucket too. Here's my little ice box. But uh, let you know the company you work for will have bad reviews. But some will have good reviews. But there's not you look at the good reviews, which is still find a bunch of truck drivers. I don't put it down as negative. But company I work for. You work hard, you got a good DM. It's gonna be awesome. Well, they got somebody else. Hopefully nobody sticks around here for a while. I don't know if anybody pops down here or not the way the thing is. But I'm happy where I'm at. And I got this 16 Freightliner. Freightliner? Should be ashamed. Because up here in this corner. That corner right there. Legs Warner. That corner. Legs Warner. This door legs one. That door legs one. And this thing is only a 2016 Freightliner. So, hmm. But, <clears throat> but when you when you think you're gonna make money, your first year truck driving. Mm -mm. I mean, it's going to be better than your old job. You know, my old job, I was making 700 every two weeks. Here, I'm up between whatever, how many loads to get up per week. So it means your tires got to be moving. And you got to have your load on time, you got to have to make sure it's dry, you got to make sure everything. No damage to it. You got to be careful what you do oh them bone I gotta pick cat distributors the damn little small tractors little white ones with the little imprint of the cat on the back mob tap mob cats yeah the little ones they're little distributor centers <laughs> I end up first delivery I ended up it was so tight when I was backing up, I had to go forward and make sure my trailer was straight. There was so much snow. No. 
backed into a truck and knocked the headlight out. Because I slid on ice when I was trying to back it. Get the thing angled right. Yeah, I'm lighting another cigarette. Because they're good cigarettes. I don't run out, I got roast. Let me check out this little case. Full up. So, and the pad. <coughs> now, it's easy to drive in the snow, it's easy to drive in the rain. And what is this turkey doing? It's coming in the wrong way. Damn wiener. Probably did the same thing I did. Came past it. Cause this damn rest stop. It's down a hill. And it goes from 60 down to 30. No, it goes to 60 to 55, then it goes to 30. You need to, we're looking for it. <laughs> Pass it. So. I never ever driven that truck angle. I like the bathrooms. Well, I got stuff to do. I gotta sweep this floor. Ooh, that truck just bent out. And I gotta take my lifestyle wipes. And that's another good thing to have on your trip. Really? Tear up that truck. <clears throat> Jackass. Anyway. Because they'll end up training that truck and if somebody else gonna get it, then they got a nice truck and that jackass will turn it up before the next person gets it. Says that. Keep your feet dry when it's wet. You might get soaking wet and tarping, but when you get in your truck, change clothes. Don't get sick. I've been sick twice since winter started. Because my crazy ass got wet. Got in the truck, turned on the heater, and you know the heater blows cold when you first turn it off. So make you cold. Go wet and try to change clothes. I always have emergency food. I always have a first aid kit. I always have WD-40 or some kind of lubricant to do your ratchets. Because the company I work for quit using snap binders. Which, when I first got this truck, I had to buy it too, because my binders, whoever has a stroke door, sucked about keeping their gear lubricated. <clears throat> and you will have loads that will cut your straps in half. You can keep an eye on all your mirrors and your load. Because I had a weird load. It was a live construction load. I had random weird v-shape steel beams on it and all kind of boxes and weird shit very last one cut that damn thing half and I look back there and the thing just flapping <clears throat> so I had to find a place to pull over and put another one on there we don't do that on the side of the road cause nobody's gonna get over for you even though they should but they don't oh look you see my Bag. Okay. See? Energy. <clears throat> and my trailer just moved. <clears throat> because I want a trailer into those sand. It's kind of weird. Don't be scared. Trucker, you're in the way. You got your brakes on. You got cashews. Honey peanuts. And pistachios. <clears throat> Perfect. Have your clean axes. Maybe some toilet paper and napkins. And boy, that trailer's making some noise. Alright, guys. I think this video's long enough. Doing well. I 
like this company. This little gizmo right here. When I drove the connection bus in Greenville, Texas. Here's my little running buddies here too. Now, another thing I want to talk about. I have two pairs of safety glasses. My very first pair that I got from the company I worked for. And I laid them on the trailer. The reason I laid them on the trailer, they got fogged up. And I wanted to finish messing with my strap, then I'll come back and grab them. Anyways, before I can get back to them, they fell on the ground and damn fork left, I ran over them. So I have an extra pair. Have an extra hard hat. Have an extra vest. Have an extra vest because if you have a dirty PPE vest. God damn. That was weird. Turn into bouncing, boy. I like somebody grabbing the ink and back and forth, but there ain't no back there. <coughs> I don't get these old trailers. These old, old blue, crappy trailers. And most of them have dog legs, and this one is haunted because it keeps moving. Just keep faith you can do it. And you can do it. It's like me. I got my CDO in 2015. I was given a golden rainbow that ended to a shit house. CRST sucks. Because I didn't know nothing about it. You know, I studied my ass off to get my CDO. Got it. Did perfect. They put me with a new driver just like me. Ended up having a rookie mistake. Got laid off from that job. Got discouraged because I fell off the horse. So I went for, for transit bus for three years. <clears throat> you know, I was happy at first. You know, the years just went by. I wasn't making no money. I want to be, I'm getting to the age, I'm almost 40. I want to have money when I turn 50. I don't want to be sitting around living paycheck to paycheck. Which, you know, that's what I'm doing now, but I have a little money put back. If I need it, if I want to go in there and get a pack of cigarettes like that, or get down a pepper, or <clears throat> take a hot shower. You know, if you have a pilot card or a flying jig card, which is the same thing. <clears throat> Free showers. You pump your gas, and you use your rewards card, adds up your shower credits. They give you points too, and you can use your points to get food. <clears throat> which I don't like TAs. Oh, we're done talking with them, cigarette one out. person that likes people around the same job for you because you're going to spend a lot of your time by yourself and here right here looking out that windshield and a lot of people won't talk to you when you go to shippers and co-signings and all that crap they just want to take your load off or put a load on they don't want to deal with you they just do their job and you do your job and get the hell out of there where they can get the next truck. Cashiers it, pilot, just the same way. They want to, they want your money, you can take your shit, your food. I don't want to say shit because I'm gonna eat shit. Truck trap for it is kinda. Huh. Now we just go back here and turn the bunk heater on. Another thing I don't like. Since the winter started, I use a bunk heater, but I don't run the truck. After two hours, that damn bunk heater turns off. When I'm asleep, I wake up cold. Shame on you. And they talk about 
Oh, don't no, I know your truck. Oh, shit. Because you wake up, it's freaking 34 degrees and 32 degrees in your truck. Mm. I'm still working on that problem. Can you tell it's just winter? But I'm fixing to go because I'm just running my lip. So when you get on to a truck company, don't get the rainbow to the shit house. Do your research knowing the first year you're going to be living paycheck to paycheck because you know you're going to have a family at home. Bills at home, you got to send money too. Now, I've still got three months and it'll be my year. Or the fifth month will be my year. So I got four more months. My first year. I do pretty good. And I'll keep giving you the Texas goodbye. Keep talking afterwards. I'm ready for this trailer to calm down back there. Oh, let's smoke a lot. But I'm gonna let you go this time, for real. So uh, I'm doing well. I'm enjoying my job and quit talking shit about companies when you don't put in a hundred percent, hundred and ten percent effort into it. Don't be coming into it thinking you're going to have to just be easy. All you do is jump in the scene and drive. No. Don't work that way. Nope. Very dangerous job. Very dangerous. Just got idiot drivers. Four-wheelers. Shame on y'all. Get other truck drivers. Shame on them. And if you're a truck driver and you've been out here too long and you get nothing but attitude and get mad at truck drivers for being good and being cautious and you go past them and give them the birdie, shame on you. Go get laid. Do something. But I'm yelling at rookie truck drivers that are trying to make it out here. We got it harder because more cars on the road and it's more demanding to get these damn things where they're supposed to be in summer. Oh, that's my squirrel. She makes it smell good in here. No, because it's just me. No, I got my drum jewelry. Anyways. Sneak over here and hit the door button. Oh, no, so make sure you have tools. Change out mud flap. Get your crowbar, hammer, and pull nails out of your trailer because they're gonna nail nails in your trailer. And if you don't have a crowbar, hammer, and the shipper's gonna make you pull them out, so you gotta figure out. All right. Love everybody. Peace. I don't call much, but I'm alive. I'm kicking, and y'all keep rocking. And I'll keep rolling. I ain't got, gave up hope yet that I can make some money doing this. Well, I tried not to make the video so long. Right. Let you know. Alright, later, peeps.